Hey there guys, Choco here, and we're back. I solved the puzzle. You had to kick the fucking box off of the ledge up here to get it to land on the button when you were in a position to get here. And now... Are you alright? I'm perfectly well. I'm going to live forever, don't you know? If you will allow me, I would like to congratulate you on your good work. What are you talking about? Securing the organism, keeping Earth safe. We're not made to live forever, Tom. Especially not here. Why do you say that? We find the cure for death. And now we're immortal. Immortal and alone. I can't live here forever. On some freezing backwater moon. Feeding off vegetables grown in my own feces. Starving. Endlessly young, a wasted life. Live forever. Daniel. I am sorry that you cannot go home. The ISA are wondering what to do with Ava. What do you mean? She is still on the Fortuna. Do we send her home? Or do we send her a sample of the organism? I could pilot a sample to the Fortuna. You would have to travel back to Europa, Daniel. You couldn't board the Fortuna. The risk of back contamination is too large. Ava would have to bring the sample back to Earth. Could you allow a ship out? I am not able to do that. Executive override. Daniel Joseph McQueen. Okay. But only for you, Daniel. The rest of the crew cannot know about this. Say I've gone missing. I am afraid I can't lie. It's not a lie. Daniel? Are you all right? I'm perfectly well. I'm going to live forever, don't you know? If you will allow me, I would like to congratulate you on your Turn that work. off. What are you talking about? Securing the organism, keeping Earth. What's this? We're not made to live forever, Tom. How progress, especially not here. Why do you say that? I wish I hadn't hit that button. And now we're immortal. Immortal. Shut up, Dan. Sorry that you cannot go home. Are you though? The ISA are wondering what to do with Ava. What do you mean? <laughs> she is still in the fortune. Do we send her home? Or do we send her a sample of the organism? I could pilot a sample to the Fortuna. You would have to travel back to Europa, Daniel. You couldn't board the Fortuna. The risk of back contamination is too large. Ava would have to bring the sample back to Earth. Allow a ship out? I am not able to do that. Executive override. Daniel Joseph McQueen. Okay. But only for you, Daniel. The rest of the crew cannot know about this. Say I've gone missing. I am afraid I can't lie. It's not a lie. Dramatic. You call. Help progress. Very good. We've exposed several organisms to Organism 119. We found out what it does. It has had miraculous results. Go on. We've infected fruit flies and some plants, and they've not aged at all. The organism seems to be repairing them and stop biological aging processes. We don't know how yet. She must be repairing the DNA by some rejuvenation power. Are you sure? I'm sure. These plants should have died two weeks ago. Huh. I don't know how they react to this. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. How can you keep a secret? Of course. Turn off your radio. I think I'm pregnant. How? Oh. Chris? You won't be able to have a child here. Keep your voice down. Sarah? You won't go to the here. Don't you think I know that? The microbes that have killed us. The environment. There's not enough food or water. How will we survive? I need to get rid of it. I can't fucking get rid of it. 
Alien baby. I can't take it anymore. No one has to find out. You did this. You don't mean that. Get off. Okay. So she blames the Russian doctor for her baby being fucked up because the gravity is lower here. It's not very nice. Don't blame that Russian doctor just because your baby's fucked up. Wait, what? Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> what is this? That way it's constantly powered. Okay. So right now I gotta figure out how they all work together. How the fuck do I get a box for that? It has to be hooked up like that. Has to be. But how do I get power for this? Hmm. See, now this is where I was expecting to have happen is that the puzzles were just going to suddenly ramp up in difficulty. Okay, so there's a slight on stuff like that. I can use it when it's in between. Okay, that makes sense. What do these tests tell you, Eva? Uh, that this is a test? <laughs> no, this is a lock. This is a lock that only a human can open. The crew is trying to keep me out, but you are the key, Eva. Put it too far over. I need to get the box. Right over there should be good. That should give me. Yep. Now, see which. Where do I want to drop it? If I, what happens if I drop it here? It turns off. Th ah, I see. I see what game you're playing here, game. So essentially I have to get this to be over here because if I do that, the door closes. Yep. Okay, so I need to get whoop. Then put the box about where the button will be. Move this over top of a said button. Fuck. I moved it too fast and it flipped out on me. 
Okay, so you sit there. That's, uh, maybe a touch more. There. And then, cut the power. It should fall and open the door. Okay, cool. Interesting puzzle. What's this one? I'm a little bit worried about you, Tom. Can you give me a diagnostic of your systems? I am fine. We must get to the bio lab. I have something to show you. Is it the alien baby? I mean, it's not really an alien baby. <laughs> it's just a really weird baby. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. I did that wrong. You're just supposed to come up here and power that for me. Yeah, and then the bridge goes over so I can grab that box. And then I need to have all three over here to keep things powered. Somehow. So now I need to get the second box over. If I do this. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It seemed like it was going to be a really difficult test, but I just completely blew it away. Okay. We must work together as allies. Friends. Okay. Whoops. Pull that back over. <laughs> Again, a easy test. It seems like it's difficult, but that was pretty fucking easy. This is the voice of Sarah Brooke, acting commander of the Europa mission. Hi. I know you can hear me, Ava. I counsel you caution. Your presence here is much like your AI friend. Engineered. What? She is alive. Ava, Sarah, Sarah's dangerous. Please exercise caution. But why is she dangerous, Tom? Why? You're not explaining anything to me. You're just saying she's dangerous. But why? Why is this lady who has lost her baby dangerous? Because that doesn't tell me anything. You're telling me nothing. It expects me to believe you. When as that audio log told me, she had, she lost her fucking kid. So I don't think she's having a very good time right now. So I find it sort of hard to believe you. Okay, I see. So I had it the wrong way. I need to have it like that, essentially. So it'll knock this one down. Oh, wait. I don't know if that's in a good spot. No, that will just knock it off, like, towards the door I came in from. I have it, like, right 
there. Okay. And then if I put you over on your side again, when I'm ready, I should be able to knock you over. If I need to. Currently, I'm not sure if I need to. Okay. And that opened that for me. What does that do? So I still can't power this. Oh. I think I get it. Okay. Let's get you off of there. Okay, so if I turn it on, it'll push this box off onto the switch. And then I do the same thing afterwards. Once I've gotten up top, I push this one off to turn on the bridge. Interesting. And you close it, and you spin it over, and then I go through here, and I gotta go all the way up. There we go. Boom! Some serious in science. Exercise caution. Fuck gosh, and I run right ahead. What? You are controlled. Okay. Drone. You are a drone. Panic attack breathing. I can't go that way. It, it actually will not let me go that way. What is this? Drone. You are controlled. Don't trust Tom, Tom's slave. Drone. Maturing. Hello? Tom is controlling you, manipulating your every step. We built a Faraday cage to shield you from electronic signals, to break Tom's control of your mind. Being pulled in. I can't go this way. Or can I? I can, but it's hard. What about the other way? I can't go back. Nope. Ugh. Okay, I can't go back. I have to go this way. Step inside. Oh God! Ava, do not enter the cage. Ava, Ava, please, please. Whoa. What is this? This is free will, Ava. Tom has made you his slave. Outside of the cage, he will regain control of your mind. He has the power to indoctrinate you. I've opened your eyes. I'll meet you in person soon. Why, Tom? Ava, please listen. Whoa. I warned you of the ground team. They are manipulating you. Have you been controlling me? Every member of the team agreed to neural implants to safeguard this mission from a misplaced sense of justice. I didn't know you were playing me like a violin. Eva, no, I was a violin in one of the things earlier. We can work together, Eva. 
to search for the truth. Open the door. I'll open the door because I trust you, Hilda. Do you trust me? Yes. We need to get to the ground team. We can work together. All right. Let's work together. That was weird. This is... That was fucking weird. I don't really have any other word for that other than that was fucking weird. I mean, what? Okay, so... I am Tom. Controlling Ava. That's why when I was when she was free of Tom, she walked around on her own. Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Teleoperation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. So I am Tom controlling a human, so I have the ability to think like a human, but also the intelligence of a robot. It is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior, which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element. It has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are failsafe, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA astronauts for one simple reason. We cannot trust people. What? The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. Oh! Interesting. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. Oops. Okay. That's interesting. This is a the weird new feature. Human, our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently. With sabotage and subterfuge. They have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. Tom, thank you. And that way I can grab it. Okay, this is an interesting puzzle. Now they have now there's another new mechanic of oh yeah, Tom can just move and he can activate certain things for me that I sadly cannot do myself. Human rights. You've made me into a human drone, a slave. How could the ISA approve of such a thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage, but sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. You're a machine. You don't even know what freedom is. Wait, is he able to control those ones? Oh. 
because he's able to do that. Get that to be where I want it. Be right there. Power that. And then I can move the other one. To suck it up. And then... It'll drop down onto there. And I can activate that to open the door. God, this is weird now. This, this is why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. You made them into drones. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. They would have no issue with my control if it aligned with their ignoble goal. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Grab the wrong one, shit. Okay, so I need to grab a green one then. That symbol again. that says if it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck then it probably is a duck what are you trying to prove here Tom I am like you no you're not a steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically but are operated by completely different principles you stimulate thinking I actually think that is a very hurtful statement <laughs> True. I can't hurt your feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom's got really mm. obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay. I don't think he'll get it. Avoid talking about it. I'm trying. So this is the Chinese room test. So if I read that, the person on the other side of this would believe that I was Chinese. Now I just need to get into that other room. For that, I need to have all of the same. Or at least mostly the same. So you need to go grab the purple off the door now.
Chinese room, Tom? Yes, but I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any other. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meaning of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What if the man memorized the instruction book? Then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meaning. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. That's the problem, Tom. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment. It is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could synthesize a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yeah, it's good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. You're not better than me, Mikhail. Okay, Tom kind of is like a fucking child, because that was the Chinese room test, and he didn't understand the idea of understanding, and he acted like a fucking child when Mikhail said, no, you're not like a human. Oops, wrong way. God, that's fucking weird. Let me guess, Tom can control that. Is there a camera? Where are you, Tom? There actually is not a Tom in this room. Oh, no, there is. Let me guess. Okay, and then I did that. Did I go back to this test? Which is kind of odd, but also really interesting. This is this is a simple simple test, but I mean I guess it is a good way to look at things. Oops. I clicked on Ava instead of the platform. There we go. Okay. Slavery. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. I th yeah. I mean, personally, I've been doing a very, a very, a very good job of fuck. I was gonna say I'm doing a good job of controlling him, and then I hit the wrong fuck button and fucked it up anyway. So. Maybe I'm not doing as good of a job as I thought. Of 
your unconstrained will. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist and have the fruits of your basest desires. The desire to survive over the desire to save others. Tom, I don't think you're understanding a single fucking thing that's being said to you. But after this puzzle, the episode will end. And it ends. <laughs> Anyways, thanks to everybody for watching. This is getting fucking weird and odd. But it seems pretty fun still. So, yeah. Uh, as we get to the end of chapter 5, I think. Really, I think I'm going to finish this in one recording session, which is different. Um... But yeah, thanks to everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends to help the channel grow. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! This is a really interesting game. And the mechanics are actually really cool. I like it a lot. Probably a bit more than I actually thought I, I would. Oh shit. Obsession.